He is the care reviewer. He reviews video games. He also reviews movies and books. He's a kid reviewer, a 12 year old 7th grader. He's reviewed video games and movies and books. He's a kid reviewer, a, a, a kid reviewer. He, he's a kid reviewer, a kid reviewer. He's a kid reviewer! What's up? This is the F Class 9 to 7 here with another kid reviewer episode. Since school is about reading, today's episode is about a book. And some of my episodes are going to be about books. And I may, and I'm going to do the math with soon. I just got to learn my math problems or something like that. Enough, alright, enough talk. The book we're going to review is Don't Bailey School Kids. Aliens Don't Wear Braces. This is the book we're going to review today. Now, this book I read before in the past, and it's pretty short, and I'm actually a 7th grader. Yeah, I'm pretty short. Look. I'm pretty short for a 7th grader, but uh, I am. Anyways, I'm just going to show you ba The Adventures of Bailey School Kids. And also, there are more than one kind of covers of these. There's also Pirates Don't Wear Sunglasses. You know, there's a whole bunch of kind of adventures, uh, but this is the one I have so far. So go to your local library and read. Reading is power of knowledge. Sorry, book. I dropped my book. But reading is the power of knowledge. So read a lot, become a smart man or woman. So enough talk. Let's re let's review this book. This book is about when uh, I know that's kind of bright. But here's the alien, whatever. It's about a woman, and these kids discover that she's an, she's supposed to be a teacher, but they discover she's an alien, but yet she wears braces. Now, if you think about it, she kind of looks good. Let me hold on. You can see a little bit better, but this is the alien right here, and uh, you can see a little bit closer, or maybe not, she's wearing braces. But, um, anyways, let's just get to the book. There are kids that are in this Bailey school. Uh, they basically look, they find a teacher teaching them, something like that, and then they just, and then they say she's an alien. She's also wearing braces. Yeah, uh, but, um, it's a pretty good book. But, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, so it's a new art teacher going to a school, and then they notice that they think she's an alien. Well, let's see. You know, to me, the creepiest picture in this book is this. You see this? That's... Mrs. Zork. You heard me right. This is Mrs. Zork. She looked better on the cover. I mean, think about it. But she just looks creepy. This is like the creepiest page in the book. Sorry about that. But it's just really the creepiest page in the book, in my opinion. Hey, look at the eye. My favorite scene in the entire book is when they finally realize she's the, um, uh, you know, alien. I mean, in the cover, you can see that they found some alien machine thingy, and her hair is glowing like that. Also, in certain parts of the page, let me find the page. Now, the weirdest part is in page 57, I believe. Remember that picture that I said is in, oops, ugliest probably, in my opinion, is when it says this. Chapter 10, Brain, page 57. Eddie rushed to the bathroom to check his hair. What are you talking about? I've still got my hair that he snapped when he came out. It's probably bleached from playing in the sun yesterday. She did it to you, Melody, Melody said. Now what they're trying to say is that when she, if you see in the picture, 
If you see in this picture, Mrs. Zorp touches Eddie's head. You see that? And she actually took out his red hair color. That's right. His red hair color. Which means now it's saying it's white and gray. Or gray and white. That's creepy. I mean, look at me. I have brown and dark brown, probably to black hair. Imagine she touched my head like this. I can have white hair. Imagine me with white hair. I don't look good. My favorite scene is when they probably, um, when they finally already figured out she when the kids actually see her transform into an alien. And in the end, well, let me read it. What happens is that when the alien Mrs. Zork was in the garage, Howie and Eddie, which are two kids, which find out she's an alien, went outside and ran quickly, because the garage Can't you can't you really believe the garage blew up? And then in this picture right here, looks like fireworks. Look at that. So, is this Lord probably perished away? She gone? Rest in peace, Mrs. Zork. Oh, rest in peace. So overall, this is a good book. I recommend it, even though it's pretty short. I recommend it. It's my favorite book. I rate it a 5 out of 5 in the book ratings. Thanks for watching. Kid Reviewers coming more and more math ways. Peace out. Okay, reviewer. Hey,